Would you be happy to miss a week of classes to go on a beach vacation in Maine? Or would you wonder why your mum chose this particular moment to take you out of school? Twelve-year-old Callie Montgomery did not have great expectations for this trip, but she was relieved to be away from Cloverdale Middle School for a week and curious to answer the question of why now? She also wondered why her unfriendly step-cousin Giles was sharing the vacation with her. One thing she had expected, as well as sea and sand, was sunshine. Instead, she got fog. And this was no ordinary fog, but the dripping kind that makes your hair stick to your head and your skin pucker with cold. Callie and Giles stood at the rim of a mist-filled crater with a dark edge that curved away out of view into the fog. It was impossible to see how wide the crater was or how far down it went, but the way the quacking and splashing echoed and faded over and over again, in and out of her hearing, suggested that it was a big body of water and that it was a long way down the steep-sided cliffs to the water's edge. Callie rubbed her eyes and looked again. There was something else, flashes of white, down and to her right, something weird moving through the mist. Was it a person? An animal? What's that? She pointed in the direction of the movement. What? Giles turned his head. But whatever had been there was gone. There was something moving over there. I didn't see it. Maybe it was a deer. No, it was white. Could have been a deer's tail. Maybe. That did make sense. But... There was something else. The creepiness she had sensed before on the cliff top came back to her. Do you smell that? Something stinks. It's like before from the dead bird. If you enjoyed this excerpt, come join Callie and Giles as they tackle danger and adversity together in their attempts to solve the mystery of the menace in the mist.